Hey folks, it's Andrew from Gimba Red, and today we're going to talk about budget intensity measurements for red light therapy. Um, I know I introduced my uh, PBM meter here that's been specially calibrated for red light therapy panels and LEDs and uh, divergent non-coherent light with the um, milky white sensor here that you know, seems to perform a lot better and easier than a, a laser power meter. It's been calibrated correctly. Um, and I appreciate the interest that some people wanted to buy it, but it is going to be a thousand dollars, um, which is which is very affordable compared to a professional grade laser power meter, compared to even a cheap spectroradiometer like the Hopo Color. This is twenty five hundred, so a thousand dollars a great price, but it's still more of a price for professionals and manufacturers and researchers that that need this this kind of measurement that's that's more accurate and done to the NIST kind of standards. So. You know, the cheap uh, budget hack that, that I, I published in my blog, I didn't show it um, on YouTube yet, is uh, you can use a cheap solar power meter, which a lot of companies have used erroneously, and they measure falsely high, and, and I've, I've detailed that out, especially on the blog. Um, but it also kind of reads predictably high. So, you know, I mean, you know, we know the, the big problem is this calibration curve. So if a company doesn't know what they're doing, they only see, oh, yeah, it can measure from 400 to, I think, 1100 on the spec sheet. And then they are mindless and they assume the, the calibration curve is, is flat, but it's not flat. So it increases. And that's why we get predictably higher readings from a solar power meter so it's a good way to scam people because they know they get higher readings the numbers oh well we get 100 or 150 and you know num intensity numbers that you don't actually want to expose yourself to because you'll overheat your skin or your eyeballs um but they think you know they've constructed a good narrative that higher intensity is always better and there's there's no science for that they they often talk the opposite that you don't want extremely high intensities for red light therapy anyway but you do want to know the intensity and a lot of companies that know that they've lied about intensity with solar power meters <laughs> will suddenly say, Oh, don't worry about intensity. We've only been scamming you with intensity for years, but don't worry about intensity anymore. Cause you just caught us lying about intensity. So, you know, it's like if you buy a car and your biggest factor is, is horsepower or uh, miles per gallon and the company lies about those factors and then you don't get it. Well, that's a big scam. You know, companies, you know, the, the auto industry is highly regulated and those companies have, have suffered uh, a lot if they false advertise even by a few miles per gallon. Uh, the same thing here. We're off by about 2x, you know, with, with, the, solar, with the solar power meter. So <laughs> it's not, the, the reckoning is coming and the more they try to hide it, the more they're actually showing that they're willfully being deceptive which willful is an important keyword that these companies need to check with their lawyers what willful deception means uh before they could have claimed that they were not willful that they were ignorant because you know companies like mito red and juve and platinum led le legitimately don't know what they're doing so um they could have claimed ignorance at one point you know and even the author of of you know the famous book on on red light therapy featured this in his book so it's a big embarrassment to the whole industry um but anyway so we can make a, a correction factor i sent this to light lab international the sticker's still on it that they checked it out and compared it to their third you know their calibrated spectra radiometer and so i didn't do that you know i mean i i just took the data made these um uh, curve fits to them and then got the calculations and so that way when you use a solar power meter and if you're using a combined red and near infrared, you just plug in the numbers into the, the calculator. And this, this does the work for you to convert it to something that's much more accurate. So, you know, with all that, you know, we've got, um, you know, you buy a cheap escrow or whatever, and that you obviously can't trust Alibaba companies, but again, you can't trust the major companies either. So what's the point of them? Um, and then you set up your, uh, solar power meter make sure see the default is usually BTU so you switch it you press this button to switch it to watts per meter squared and then make sure you press this R button and that eliminates the decimal points so you can read higher numbers so it's still watts per meter squared and usually we care about milliwatts per centimeter squared so 
the, you know, that cal- that conversion's easy because it's a metric system. But um, anyway, you know, we just set it up here. We're about, I think we're about six inches away. And oh, wow, we're six inches away. We get the magical 100. Uh, if you know how to read this, then it's a hot, you just move the decimal po- point. So it's 106 milliwatts per centimeter squared. We're about six inches away. I measured it before. Oh, wow. We get that hundred. Oh, wow. The magical hundred number that everyone's been <laughs> lying about that companies don't actually deliver. Um, so let's say, so here you just put in the whole thing. So if we, if we got 1063, if we want to be really precise, 1063 enter and so the real number is 51.7 milliwatts per centimeter squared again if you've pieced this together uh it doesn't matter who you bought it from if they gave you the impression that they were delivering more than 100 milliwatts per centimeter squared 150 170 whatever their (laughs) nonsense numbers they're claiming um you know you have a right to to ask for your your money back because they they false advertise so uh it doesn't ma- it doesn't matter the return policy the federal government is protecting your rights not to be scammed right so anyway so we're at about 51 let's see if we can line up the hopo color which like i said this isn't um this is a cheap <laughs> spectrometer even though it's 2500 that's actually pretty cheap for a, a spectral radiometer um and it's not NIST calibrated, it's, it's calibrated to um, a Chinese standard, I, I asked the, the manufacturer. So, you know, uh, it's not a perfect, it, it's actually kind of a cheap hack in, in, in kind of a relative terms of this. So I'm going to change one of the settings. Here we go. So we get, let's let it focus, 52.4. And so we have, oh, we have 51.7. So, you know, I mean, you can only, you can spend 80 bucks and then, you know, you get the number off of this, plug it into the calculator and you're, you're pretty much, you're pretty much dead nuts. So, you know, I mean, again, if you're worried about a percent or, or, you know, I mean, a couple percent difference then you do need to send your panel to a third party lab which which is what we do for all of our panels we don't do any of this this stuff we always send it to the third party because we have biases um all humans are biased so you have to watch out that if you use near infrared only which again we know is higher on the um uh offset spectrum so if you only have a single wavelength and you need to use the single you know kind of near infrared it's for 850 but but again you know if you know your your measurement tool is off by a hundred percent then even if you're measuring oh maybe i'm measuring 830 or, or something like that um this will get you closer to reality than uh you know than not doing anything at all so you know we can set this we can change it to infrared only see it's got the indicator lights i like how it's got red and infrared indicator lights um so anyway now we're just reading infrared so you know i can do this so we're at 72.8 uh but but here we just put the whole number so 728 and then you're at 28.9. So yeah, 28.9. Uh, let's see if we can line up our hopo color about the same position. Thirty-one. I saw it. Sometimes like this takes different. Twenty-nine. So again, yeah, we're 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 spot on here. We got 28.9. And this is 29.6. So again, which one's actually, re- you know, there's error on both both ends of the, you know, I mean, if you have two devices that don't agree, even by a small margin, like which one's, which one's right and which one's wrong, They're, they both have a little bit of error to them. Um, so anyway, so this is amazing hack. So now you can get... You know, if you if you're only measuring a single wavelength, then make sure you use the the single wavelength calculator. If you're doing kind of a 50/50 red and near infrared, you use the top calculator, and that's it. You get a budget 
$80 solar tent. You have to get this brand. I'm going to do a couple more. That's why I said it's part one of three. I'm going to do a couple more of the popular meters. Like later, I'll do the TES 1333. Um, but right now, this is, you know, this is one of the cheapest ones that most manufacturers have used. So I wanted to do this one first. And, uh, you know, that's it. That's your budget uh, intensity measurement hack. You can actually get some real numbers, get some realistic numbers, understand the safety, understand the dosing. Um, and you can communicate that to the clinical studies. Clinical studies are not using solar power meters and embarrassing themselves. Uh, they're, they're using, you know, laser power meters with correction factors or, um, you know, different you know, spectra radiometers sometimes. Um, and even the the studies if they trust their manufacturers a lot of the studies say that their their numbers are off so that's why it'll be good to get the this calibrated one into the hands of clinics and into the hands of real manufacturers because the clinics should be double checking the numbers that manufacturers tell them um so anyway so this is all good stuff uh, again this is this will empower you you know you can can really start to understand the real intensity and we can understand the science and we can go from there uh thanks for tuning in hope this helps